Hi friends, today let us discuss classical sets. So how the classical sets will be? This come under fuzzy logic. Actually, we need to know fuzzy sets and fuzzy relations. So before going to that, let's once again recap the classical sets what we have already studied in the previous classes of maybe our 10th class and intermediate uh, plus 2. So let us see these are the classical sets how the classical sets will be so that we can easily transform from classical sets to fuzzy sets. Consider, consider a classical set where capital X actually capital X denotes the classical sets and th that is the universe of disclose so that is the entire area as if you have seen the Venn diagram so one rectangular box or one square you, we have drawn and that entire area is called that entire area is universe of disclose capital X so we, have de de we have denoted as capital X and for each element in that capital X will be the small x individual elements will be denoted as small x then how the features of the element in the capital X how the element can be we know which elements we can take as the element for the classical sets so the elements may be discrete elements countable integers 1 2 3 4 5 like that or continuous valued quantities on the real life that means it may be from negative positive and zero or some real line maybe from zero to some infinity like that and then what are the examples of various elements in the universe of disk the examples may be the clock speeds of computer cpus what is the clock speed of computer cpus maybe the speeds may be varying and next the operating temperature of an air conditioner so different temperatures may be there we can vary the temperature so those things may be the universe of disclose or i mean elements of universe of disclose and the operating currents of an electronic motor or generator set motor and generator set so this is the this is also operating currents so there is variations in small variations in the operating set so we can take those things into one group and we can make it as a set so these may be the elements of sets or we can simply say integers 1 to 100 like that so these are the main properties of <coughs> these are the main features of the elements in the universe of disclose so we can denote capital x universe of disclosure the capital x, capital x and the small x may be the elements of universe of disclose next choice of universe how to uh, take the universe so uh, which area we need to take the universe the universe may be continuous or discrete see the universe may be continuous universe or discrete universe so if the universe is discrete then we can say that it's a finite universe that means we have finite number of finite number of elements but if it is a continuous we can't say it's an infinite number of elements so this is the main difference between these two so it will come in so many areas also in the further class it will come in so many areas as for each and everything we need to divide like this so this is choice of universe there are two types discrete and continuous or finite and infinite So here the choice doesn't alter if you consider the, the universe of disclose as continuous then your element should be continuous or if you consider the element should be discrete your universe of disclose should be discrete. So we can't alter such that if I consider the universe of disclose as continuous so and the elements may be discontinuous that can be discrete that cannot be done. So that's why the point is written the choice doesn't alter the characteristics of sets depend on the universe. Okay, that cannot be done. Next. Yeah, this is the thing. This is the definition of cardinal number. The total number of elements in a universe is called its cardinal number and it's denoted by eta of x. 
so this is very important point based on this we need to solve so many problems so the number of elements the number of elements in the universe of disclose is called the cardinal number denoted by eta x so obviously again there are two types of universes universes of disclose so they are discrete universe so it composed of discrete means it's composed it is a composition of some countable numbers or countable finite elements but coming to continuous there is it's an infinite thing so obviously it has infinite cardinal number so for the previous case it is a finite cardinal number so in general we will deal with the discrete universe only having finite cardinal numbers yeah then power set what is mean by power set so the power set means as we know the collection of elements is called sets and some out of those sets we will take some element then that is called subset then what is this power set so the collection of all elements in the universe may be called as the whole set and it is analogous to the set and event that means if the event is completely done then it is a set and event and if the entire universe of disclosure has been taken so we can call it as set and event for example if we haven't taken any of the element in the universe of disclosure then we can say that it's a null set Say null set. Now, then, what is meant by power set? The power set is it consists of all possible sets of capital X. So then, it is called power set P X. That means it contains all possible sets and null set. Then it is called power set. So this this is the power set. This is also very important. Let us solve some problems based on Cartesian number. Sorry. Based on cardinal number and power sets and cardinality of the power set that will that can also be discussed now. Let us take an example. Let the universe of disclose be one, two, three, four, and let us find out cardinal number, power set, and cardinality of the power set. Let us see. We already discussed the cardinal number means. the number of elements in the universe of disclose so i can say that the cardinal number is 4 in this case yeah it x is equal to 4 now power set how to frame power set power set can be framed power set means it is the all possible sets so out of 4 1 2 3 4 i can frame one set with number 1 Second set with two, third set with three, and fourth set with four. Next, fifth set with one two, sixth set with one three, one four, like that. And I can't say two one is the more set, so that's removed. Again, two three and two four. I can't say three two; it's already taken. Three one already taken, so three four. And finally, one two three four. And before before that or after that, there is the null set. Null set should be also be included in the power sets. So let me see what are those all power sets. Yeah, null set one, two, three, four, one two, one three, one four, two three, two four, and three four. One two three, two three four, one three four, one two four, one two three four. That means all possible sets means four four numbers have been given or four elements have been given. so i can frame with one element as the complete set so only four will come two elements as the complete set so there are some combinations in three elements are the complete set some other combinations will be possible and if four elements are cho chosen as set that means only one is possible and that is we can also call it as set and event all elements have been taken that is called whole set or set and event 1 2 3 4 and i can say one more set that is pi pi it's a null set so no even so these are this is the best example of regarding this uh, universe of disclose cardinal number power set and cardinality of the power set now let us see cardinality of power set that e formula is 2 power eta x 
eta x is 4 here so 2 power eta x is 2 power 4 so which will give us 16 as a number yeah now we can see in power set p of x how many sets are there pi is one set with single things four are there so five total five sets have can be framed and then so with two sets two elements as set one two three four five six so five plus six there are eleven sets with three elements are this set one two three four so eleven plus four it is fifteen and if four elements as this set only one so it is sixteen so total there are sixteen 16 power sets can be framed so that's why cardinality of the power set means the number of elements in the power set so the what the number of elements in the power set is 2 power 4 which equal to 2 power which, which is equal to 16 in this case so this is the best example for identifying the cardinal number power set and cardinality of the power set i have taken one more example this is yeah, universe of disclose has been taken as ABC. Of course, I have written as four elements. That's wrong. And there are only three elements here. Now, let us find out cardinal number, power set and cardinality of the power set. So, it's very easy. Cardinal number means number of elements in the universe of disclose. So, obviously, it is three. Next, power sets means number of sets we can frame. We can frame out of this so i can frame pi i can frame single element sets as 3 a b c so i have four total i have four elements in my power set and next two elemented sets a b b c a b b um of course a b a c b c so there are three so 4 plus 3 7 and next whole set is always there a b c so with that one there are 8 so according to the number cardinality of power sets is 2 power eta x that means 2 power 3 so there are 8 so, so this is the solution for this example 2 and let us see how we need to write in a systematic manner this is cardinal number so there are 3 elements so eta x is 3 power sets these are the power sets pi and all these things and then cardinality of the power set is given by like this it is 2 power eta x so which equal to 8 so this these are the examples so in this class we have discussed what is classical sets and what are the choices of universe universe of disclose and then what is meant by cardinal number what is meant by power set and what is the cardinality of the power set so all these things we have discussed in this class if you like this video please like it and thank you very much for 650 plus subscriptions and please like the video and kindly share the video if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and try to press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload the any video thank you Thank you so much.